but God helped me to demonstrate world the evil I was against. Uh, this here is a beautiful babe from Australia, from what I recall. Was involved in MK Ultra and was a doppelganger of this girl here that you see here. The name is what you see right there. But what's interesting, you know, what's interesting, this is this like a doppelganger, really, really one of the top beautiful women that got involved porn actress that got involved during MK Ultra in my case. And it's like very, very closely resembles this girl here that you see. Who, however, is American just like myself. And is from Los Angeles. Well, the point I'm trying to make here is that the two are almost the same, like almost like kind of a twins, basically. And both were here and both really liked me. Uh, and I was crazy about this too, either of the two. Uh, and the thing about it is, guess who got involved in this stuff? The one who got involved with this stuff, the one who got involved in the jobs, employment issues, as well as into absolutely everything, was this here. Now, uh, well, let's just go from here. And I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna demonstrate you what the bribery can do. So you go and you Google her name. And under her last name, you will get a Facebook account with which Thailand intimidated during MK Ultra, a Thai princess by Rikitiaba intimidated during MK Ultra. So intimidated not only me, but also porn actresses, porn whatever people that were interested in marriage with me. Now I am almost 52 and my life was destroyed, erased, decimated, turned into a dust. But the purpose of this video is to demonstrate you uh, the power of more than money. It's basically the power of kingdom. How far the kingdom can go in crime with destroying, deleting somebody's life, basically. I don't know about this account. This account also was involved in it, but contacting through the account like this, it's actually risky, really. So what I recall, even in this case, is that she ended up on a Thailand, a Thai king, father of the Princess Bairikiti Abba, I think even rented her. They purchased her for whatever they needed, even. It was like this. Uh, so it's amazing, and I find it bizarre like this to go and stalk and intimidate somebody with the issues like, let's say, here are pertaining to a messenger I am bombarded with. And how many nude models, porn actresses were involved in this case? How many do you think were involved in this case? I count probably the number of well over probably 2,000, 2,000. Uh, maybe even up to 5,000 porn actresses and actors were involved in this case. Well, not only females, but also actors, companies, basically entire porn industry was involved in it. 
Why have they done that stuff? But anything that I would do on the internet, any of my activities they traced and would inserted me literally into a work lives of the people that I would see on the internet. That's basically why. Very intimidating stuff, crazy stuff, which very, very often times ended with beautiful females from Japan, from China, uh, from Korea, um, also from Thailand, uh, Philippines, uh, Russia, uh, Brazil, uh, Venezuela, Colombia, uh, Argentina, well, at least 5,000 females. Females alone, 5,000. And when it comes to males, probably another 5,000 at least. So you're talking about at least 10,000 people from the world of porn. Adult entertainment, if you got, if you want to say workers were involved in this stuff. Italy, France, Netherlands, Britain, and so on. But it's interesting because you always get also this kind of stuff in between. which, if it's not, at least reminds closely of a Thai language. Yeah. If it's not, it doesn't matter. You cannot treat people like this. You cannot do stuff like this with the people. And Thailand did this, everything with a genocide purpose. Thailand was rejected in, from my end, in 1997, uh, due to what Thailand demanded from me was a total cut, uh, it's a Thai language, a total cut of, uh, so they, they, what, they, what Thailand continues to do, basically what they're doing, they, they continue even to jam through the all kinds of stuff, some fake profiles and so on. They continue to intimidate and jam Messenger and Facebook and so on. Thailand demanded what I was told in 97. It was not in 97, I was still told by the British royals, by the little William. I would I am entitled to 70 billion whatever euros, dollars pounds how wealthy I'm going to be that he is happy for me and so on with his little brother in 1999 in 98 1999 they shipped they sank the ship not too far from Thailand uh, and demanded for me to make a new deal with the Thailandese royals, forget about the money they owe me and make a new deal that would, contrary to initial agreements, not only with, with the United Kingdom, but also Netherlands, France and other countries, United States, it would be replaced with a new deal uh, through what would be set separate like a savings accounts which money would come through literally insurance theft, such as what sinking of what used to be celebrity cruise lines Meridian, it turned into Sun Vista, SS Galileo Galilei, and through which investments of this money they would use to benefit me and Princess Bairikiti Abba is marriage in the future. So what became notable is that a real nobody in a nothing. Who the fuck is this princess by the Kitiaba? She was not biting the dust, bleeding when I was beaten up, beginning age two, three years old, inside of the Moscow, in the Belgrade and in the Moscow. 
She was not the one who was beaten up and injected with a cancer and stuff like this. She was not the one who went through this stuff. She was not the one who was asking, Mother, in the third grade of the grammar school, how much longer will it take to finish grammar school? Count it every fucking day till the summer vacations. She was not the one whom they planned is going to end up in a school with the children with a special needs for mentally retarded. When her grandfather, King Bumibol Abdullah Day, was laughing at me with the KGB agents in Moscow, sided with them and even demanded from me to pretend at least that I'm crazy, stupid, to calm the Soviets down. Who did, against all odds, lost the war against the child for whom they were sure certain giants like Sergei Lavrov physically engaging in fights with numerous children and so on. I would not even go past, I would definitely go past sixth grade of the grammar school. She was not the one. And all of a sudden, Thailand went ahead, erased absolutely everything. My protest against the Thailand even wanted to have anything anymore with the criminals that demanded not only 50-50 share, but for everything to be erased, therefore for all the money to go in their pocket, the, all the money that was initially done through the deal with me, it would go to me to go in their pocket and offer me instead some kind of offshore theft, thuggery, criminal money, which through investments with the Russians, with whom they, de they continue to demand for me to partner. It would be the money that would benefit me and Princess Bairikidi Abba's marriage one day. When, uh, when the fuck would that be? At holy never. Because their plan was to bury me, to bear, get me basically killed. Now, saying this to you, Omut is age 52 with initial marriage proposal from the father of Princess Bairikiti Abba, who offered me, her, with the grandfather when she was still a teenager in 1995. And I accepted for two years till I got pissed off, angry for her uh, proceeding with uh, had university and all kinds of excuses, issues, and my ways in time going to fucking nowhere. Uh, every time, just found another route, another place, another way, better way, and so on, subjecting me to the torture in a Thailand, disseminating hatred against me throughout entire Asia. In Thailand, actually threatening me over and over how they're going to fit me with the crocodiles and so on till the truth came, became completely undeniable with her grandfather eventually yelling, screaming at me that basically the ought had to disappear from disgrace, that he could not participate in this and that, now basically, basically saying to me now he had to die, basically, have that certificate written. What a crap. Control the jobs for which claimed in Slovenia to me that are abounded, that it's only my problem. When thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje laughed at me, made fun of me, humiliated me, rated me as worthy than less than a dog. ridiculed me for even wanting to set up the page which I set on my blog, donation page. Had Google, YouTube owners, online advertising companies block my content 
from any kind of revenue, advertisement, and so on. Basically, kill my job markets, any kind of income ability, block banking accounts, destroyed potential for any kind of relationship with a female for no less than 52 years almost. That's why I am video really recording this stuff, because this stuff is, for me, essential to video record. It's not okay. None of this stuff is okay. Check this out. It's like really, really impressive. Actually, this is very impressive, and I sure am going to use this stuff. But what's impressive to me more than this is the stuff you see here. I don't know how that kind of stuff was, but I don't like the idea about people being harassed, tortured, threatened, uh, from having ability, the right basically to socialize, even after you are being completely ostracized from society, thrown out of the society, having actually the ability to even uh, communicate with people through the social media and so on. That kind of a sucks. That's why it's important to note the intimidations followed in absolutely everything. Every female that I marked as the female that would be of my greatest interest, it was this Thai kings that were obsessed with the idea that were completely rocked by idea, they were completely absorbed with idea to take over. This did not pertain only to uh, a females, uh, white females that you're gonna think. They went ahead and they used Asian females, they were not even porn actresses and so on, to intimidate, to harass me with issues Whenever I demonstrated interest for them, they would be using, buying those females. They got the services literally from the PhD, people, females with a PhD degrees that would, that were very interested in me through their parents, which they wanted to definitely uh, have their daughters date me. But it was so effective, this crime was so effective, basically, that the females that the females who would be interested in me instead were detoured. They were demanded to, through their governments, actually in this case, like a South Korean government, they would have to comply with the Thailand uh, and simply, basically, uh, satisfy the needs of the Thai partners, which is, of course, the Thai royals. So that really, really, really is something I am not happy about. Stuff like this, because I think this is disgusting. No, she had to do this stuff, whether I like it or not. She had to do this stuff. This was like a must, basically, a detour like this. It was nothing like that. Eventually, it impacted uh, her business, 
her way of life, her things, her and so on, uh, to the degree that I think she told me that she opened, that she has a website or whatever, something like this that, that can be contacted. In 2013, yeah, that's right, that's when I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital. And I can't believe that somebody actually took pride in it. And I even less can believe that somebody was making, when I set the donation page on my blog, fun, basically, ridiculed me for creating a donation page on my website, which she, right here is the second picture through this picture here, right there that you see, and one more with a black background that was used to remind me of that, she did with her father. I would say a Russian, perfect Russian genocide tool, uh, but this is, this is worse than Russian. This is something else. Uh, this girl, a light, excused herself uh, on so many times. This is another page right here. Those are the two pages that suggested that I prefer the money over her. Really. For 52 years, they robbed me of my life, the right to exist. And uh, these are the pictures basically they post with. That's why we're going to go to the criminal court, international court, and we're going to settle the differences to see who has the right to exist, who have the right to live or not, if I have the right to live, exist or not. That's what I want to get. I want to get a full admission. I want to see whether I am alive, whether I have a right to exist or not, whether who's going to destroy whom. That's what I want to do. I want to settle the differences with this issue. No, this is not about slandering high royals. This is about what's coming next for these people. In, a, in, in terms of legal system, international justice, 